Hey, what's up? It's Logan Brown. On this video, I'm gonna answer a question that I've been getting asked a lot. When, when should we be square using the peekaboo stance and when should we be more on an angle? So first of all, you gotta think about why are we even square, right? So there's a couple of reasons why we're, we actually have a square stance in the peekaboo style. Number one is because we want great movement to each side, right? We want easy access to go boom to this side and boom to that side. If I'm in a more traditional stance and I'm on an angle like this, I can't bend backwards, right? My back doesn't bend that way. So I don't have good access to that side. And the second reason is that when I am out to these sides, because of my more square stance, I've got, I can generate lots of power on both sides. Boom. So the question now is, is there a reason to be in a more of an orthodox stance? Well, in my opinion, yes. Like sometimes you will need that stance. So for example, when I'm in a square stance, my jab has this much range. But when I'm in a more orthodox on an angle stance, I get that little extra bit of range. So I would use it in those situations when I'm just trying to get in on a diet and trying to set something up with my jab. So it's gonna be up to you to get the feel of that when you're inspiring or when you're training or whatever, get the feel of when you wanna use that, that orthodox stance and when you wanna use square. Most of the time, in my opinion, you're gonna be using the square stance so that you've got the movement to both sides. All right, now I'm gonna talk about the footwork. So just in case your question is, you know, when should the feet be more square and when should they be back like this? When you think about it, like, if, if you're like a shorter guy, you're using the peekaboo stance because you wanna use it to, to get on the inside. When we're on the outside of, of, of our range and we're trying to come into a taller boxer and he's got better range than us, we need to be able to take bigger steps, okay? So for that reason, I will be using more of a traditional stance a lot of the time so I can get that, that stride, right? So I can use those long steps to get inside on the guy. When you're inside, I recommend being a lot flatter, okay, so that we, can, we have access to both these sides. And depending on which side you're working on, I would actually switch stances. So if I'm on the left, if I'm, on, I'm to my left, then I'm more, I'm, a, I'm in a slightly orthodox, but quite square stance, right? Just bang, so I can drive my punches, boom, into my opponent standing here. And if I'm on the right side, boom, I'm slightly, Southpaw, and that's just going to give me the leverage I need to drive my punches into my opponent while still staying out to this side of them. Now, here's a technique that not a lot of people talk about, but it's a technique that Mike Tyson uses in his peekaboo stance a lot, which is it's, it's like a back foot step. So if I'm if I'm coming into my opponent right and I'm trying to close the distance, like normal traditionally, um, we get taught to, to to walk like this: front step first, front step first, boom boom, front step first. But with this technique, what we're doing is we're, we're bringing the back foot first, okay? So we're in our square stance. If he tries to throw, boom, boom. We've got access to both sides. If not, then we can take a longer step now, okay? So with traditional stance, this is, the, this is the difference, right? Traditional stance, I'll stand by this line. Traditional stance, take a step like that, bam. From the flat stance, take a step, boom. Look at that, double the distance, okay? And this is where we're gonna set up our punches off. See that range that we get? Now the way that I watch this is just studying the Mike Tyson tapes and just trying to figure out how did he close the distance so easily. Like when you watch him, he, he, this, it's effortless for him. This is one of the techniques that he used. If you want to go check it out, there's a really good view on the Henry Tillman fight and it's the actual knockout punch and you'll see from the top angle of him using that step. Using that step. And then, so I hope that helps. Hit me in the comments, let me know what you think.